the Rome Station Church for Wednesday of week two in Lent is St Cecilia, St Cecilia in Trastevere. Trastevere literally means across the Tiber. It's the other side from ancient Rome, the other side of the river. It's full of little back streets that you have to wander through, lots of restaurants and bars. And eventually, in a quieter part of Trastevere, you stumble upon the Basilica of St Cecilia. It has a lovely approach to it. The, there's a, an old Roman courtyard, which now has a fountain and a, some garden area in front. So the entrance is beautiful. It's historic. It's the place where St Cecilia, we believe, lived and was martyred in the second century. She was added to the list of women saints in Eucharistic Prayer 1. Remember that list? Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. After her martyrdom, she was placed in the catacombs of St Callistus, but her body was taken from there, we believe, in the 8th or 9th century when the church was, was built and put into her own church dedicated to her. Excavations were done in 1600 and her body was found to be incorrupt, lying like a sleeping young girl. And a sculptor, having witnessed this body, carved a beautiful marble sculpture of her body, which you can see reclining under the high altar, marks on her neck where they tried to cut the head off, three places and on one hand holding one finger on another hand holding three fingers the profession of her faith and um, one God three persons it's also a little English connection of the cardinal that were given this church as their titular church one of them was Cardinal Wolsey who was Henry VIII's Lord Chancellor before Henry VIII um, abandoned the church in Rome, but the Church of Cardinal Wolsey, so it's worth the visit for that reason. A copy of the statue of St Cecilia can be found in the catacombs of St Callistus, if you ever get the chance to visit the catacombs. Callistus is the largest, most extensive and most easily accessible of the catacombs, and it's, it's a, again an intriguing place to visit. And St Cecilia, as we know, patron saint of music. It comes from a tradition that a piece of music was written um, about the martyrdom of St Cecilia and it writes in it that at her wedding she heard the angels singing and wanted her whole heart to be singing with joy. And very often now if you are in Rome, if you look up St Cecilia you might find that you can go along to a concert, many choirs orchestras that come to Rome want to play in the Basilica of Santa Cecilia so it's, it's a good place if you look up before you go you might be able to catch uh, a concert in the church of Santa Cecilia.